Hello, good afternoon guys. Hey Pidash, welcome back. Thanks for being here and yes, finally. Fourth streak of streaming, finally. <laughs> This diba straight four days we are streaming. Anyway, Genshin is now my sort of um stress reliever for today. My morning. Actually my whole afternoon. No, never mind. My uh, activities before I went live, right, like literally right now, it was a bit um, stressful for me. So I had a lot of work to finish, paperworks to be exact, and uh, other extracurricular activities that I had to help out with my friends. Uh, Genshin is now my, you know, my comfort zone at the moment. Hi Pidash! Hi Miko! Jeff! Thanks for being here! Welcome back! Yep, it's straight No more intro, yep. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Straight to Arkham first. Because I was like, shook when you guys told me that I wasn't even near halfway of the uh, Arkham Quest in Fontaine. Like, what the heck? Every journey has its final day. Don't run. For four months, that. Oh my god. Right after I clutch my 5 p.m. Nice. You are can tell turn a normal person to make an insane individual. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> We've talked to all three suspects. Purely based on their conversations with me. None of them sounded particularly suspicious. I'm so see about the guard and the uncle, though. I, I suppose that's to be expected, though. If a single conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. So I've been a jumpy. I'm not near halfway yet. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. What's up? What's a Hmm. But where should we start? Drop ah, it. you're right! Flora mentioned that Palace probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm. That makes sense. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. Hmm. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So, Jacques fired the first shot? Hmm, that was Jacques. I wouldn't have fired a shot at one. Oh? Then why is that? Could he guarantee his safety after killing Callus? Could he guarantee his family's safety after killing Callus? Oh, that's a good point. Jacques probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. And once he had completed his mission, He'd be of no more use to his boss. Huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be to turn his back on the Order and seek protection from my father. Seems the third person was the one who pulled oh, derailed everything. Mm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. Besides, Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this lead to the end? Given everything that's happened since, uh, it's quite possible. But who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? I mean, it's Mars. Since Marcel is rich, Uncle Marcel. Uh, hmm. My father did really trust him, and they worked together on a large number of projects. Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. And with funds from the Confrérie, he could also afford a large number of Gardamex. Still, really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Also. 
wouldn't this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight his own synth business? Hmm. Thierry? Thierry, you say? Huh. It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use, but... I didn't feel like he was lying when he was talking to us about the Mecha. I also don't think he'd be able to keep that kind of tampering under wraps. Mm, that's true though. But for me, I think Floran is the, the least sus person. Hmm. Monzai. <laughs> it's a different username now. Hi, Froggy. <laughs> Gracious, I finally joined out of his streams. Wait, no, it's not Froggy! Since you said, goodness gracious, I finally joined one of your streams again. Is this Koi? Yeah, had he actually tampered with the Mecha, we'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guard's inventory. If the Mecha were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that happened. There you go, it is Koi. Nice. <laughs> Yay! Hi, Swan. Let's go. Welcome back, boy. It's been a while. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. How have you been? How's life? Flora? Flora? Uh, it is true that he was closest to my father, and thus had the best chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. <laughs> oh, Lord, he frying. <laughs> But, as Spina di Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security. So, he shouldn't have much means when it comes to finances. Nice. The most sus person is Marcel. Don't go, Marcel. Life sucks at the moment, really? Ooh. My platonic GF left me. Why? Damn. And wow, it's a platonic one. Hmm. So you're saying he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. <sighs> Who could it be? You know, if you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing other suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? <sighs> Malus has always been very reliable, and his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. When he mm. laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. Oh my god, hopefully it's not Malus himself. Oh, oh, it's okay. I understand, boy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I hope it'll get better for you soon. Don't worry. There's a lot of fish in the sea. <laughs> the suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecha to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. <sighs> Even if I don't want to believe it, I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. He is someone that's very close to you after all. Well, we still have another trump card on top of all the theorizing and speculating. Yes, Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. But we don't have any other options right now. Yum. <laughs> more fish to fry. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Navia, here you are. <sighs> I've been looking for you. Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah. News came from Arrhenius just after you left. We've got another trial on our hands. Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so newsworthy about this one? I know, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger called Tartaglia. <laughs> Reunion of Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. Oh my god. What? Is that someone you know? Yeah, we know him. Maybe even a little too well. Well, he's been accused of being the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. It's absurd, don't you think? Nah, it's probably not him. 
Oh, the esports tournament haven't um started yet. We were just training. The schedule isn't announced yet. <laughs> Wait, how? None of our investigations have had anything to do with him. That's what I thought was strange about it. So I came to tell you the news right away. If the charge against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Right. Because they'll think they've already found the culprit. Yeah. And it'll be a lot harder than to clear Mr. Callus's name. Oh. Hmm. I understand. <sighs> well, partner, what do you think we should do? We still haven't found any conclusive evidence. As for our team pala, the team is nice because it's our ane, it's our friends mismo. Ni kami mismo magtotropa yung magkaka team. <laughs> Thankfully, our team wasn't like um appointed by the how do you call this? The officers. We are able to uh, make our own team. Split up. Huh? Split up? What do you mean? You can go to Arrhenius. We'll uh, go investigate that thing. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Arrhenius, leaving his home base wide open. Oh no! If ever the culprit here is Fairy, he now knows the, uh, their plan. You're right. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right then, let's do this. I'll stall them at the Opera House and charge Marcel as the true culprit. Huh? I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. We'll help you, just like you helped us in Lenny's trial. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. I'm ready. Ah, oh, Malou, Silver, when did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson and figured that you might require our assistance. It's our hope that your confidence will be bolstered with the two of us by your side. Aww. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, let's make haste for Arrhenius. Hi, Ma See you then! Now that Navia has set out for Arrhenius, we should also get going. Ooh, what are those? The location has already been marked on the map, so let's head over. Hmm, I'll go do those later. Sheesh, wow. How do we get down again? Oh, there we go. What's this again? Oh, never mind. Seagrass. Now make sure to for on the mercy my special edge. Completely cut using fountain or water blade to the only way. How am I supposed to do that? Eh? Eh? Finally found it! Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. <laughs> Cute, there's sure swimming. Seem out of 
the ordinary at all. You know why this end up? Ah, you're right. An important place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. Navia's probably arguing up a storm right now to stall for us. It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. <laughs> Poor child. Lol. Kapag-tripan si child, debuisit. However... I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is oh that my... Right? Oh my god. In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorend, right? That's all you wanted to do? Oh my god. <laughs> I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey, don't you understand? <laughs> You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. <laughs> oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Then why don't you duel me too? <laughs> I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. He's really that confident. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. <laughs> we have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. <laughs> that case had nothing to do with him. You've got the wrong man. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? Lol. <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted <laughs> the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? We can put that discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default. Correct? Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. <laughs> How fascinating. Well, I'd gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. <laughs> now then, Miss Navia, who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... Man, this is gonna be. Uh, this might be difficult. Girl, I don't want to suspect Uncle Marcel. Because if it turns out that he is not the suspect, then we'll have a really a bad, you know. Relationship with it. Uh, it will tar the relationship. Uncle and niece relationship. Pag nagpupul, magpupul ka o pupul ka dyan sa chair. Ah, sige, sige. Noted. Pang ritual, no? Sige. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, Uncle. Marcel, the head of Confrere of Cabriere. Huh? What Confrere? Never heard of them in my life. I've heard of them, but... Weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Oh my god. Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, 
that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. That's true. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged oh. with the crime of making a false accusation. Ayun. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Yes, I do. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. <laughs> Pull buff, Ganorn. Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Talaga? I thought it was going to be easy to uh, get up there. I don't want to go to Traveler and Kazuma. Okay, okay, no, Ted. Apologies, sir. It all just happened so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. Poor Marcel. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Come on, why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? I, uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Confrerie of Cabriere. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callis, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. The guards' investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, or the second must have taken Jacques's life. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. <sighs> the one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first, and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the Primordial Sea. It's this one. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now, since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice.
Assassin first shot Jacques, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. Testimony of the victim's family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. Unfortunately for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. <laughs> Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. Content class has got to be the class where traveler talk the most. Actually, true. What's up? I'm first time, first time visiting here. Oh, hello, halal. Is it halal? Am I pronouncing it right? Thanks for being here and welcome to the stream. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Hello, hello. What happened? Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. Then, oh my god, then maybe it really isn't Uncle Marcel. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go home! Damn. I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nouvellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. <sighs> Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? <laughs> Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. <laughs> My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. It's because he is sick. I thought about this too, Imagine and the that. answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The story was really good to all that to find out about the plot twist. <laughs> Why do we feel like the plot twist is... The suspect is gonna be Malus. Charlotte, I have no idea. Some is still on the 4.0 quest. They're still 4.0. What? And they have 4.0. Oh the dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. 
Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? Bam. If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Of course, the guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you mean to say... Your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. <sighs> I don't need your apology, your guilt, or your support from the shadows. <clears throat> you don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. <laughs> what the <laughs> A con undercover convict? What the heck? I'm getting rid of goosebumps. This need Jeff the animation. So I'm gonna go pull for Kazu. Yeah, go pull for Kazu, ha! Oh, cause I got shocked on how pitch Navia's voice is. I know, right? Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? <sighs> yes, I did. As a champion duelist, I fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives in my line of work. I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Mm. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. <sighs> Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? <laughs> Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. Ah, even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one of your most endearing traits. No need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? That's true, though. Oh man, I'm leaning. I'm leaning to uh to the plot twist that it might that it could have been. I don't know. It uh, it could be uh Malus. Uh, I don't want to think about that. Hello, Coco. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello. Waddles around. <laughs> Wow, late lunch. Eat well, Jeff. Navia, Rio Thesley, Nivella, and Farina. My god, I'm still far from. <laughs> I have a lot to catch up on, lol. Uli pero di kolong si sas Maria, lol. <laughs> Welcome back, by the way, Nom. Thanks for being here. And to Curtis. Hello, hello. Welcome back to you, too. 
A face like that one kid who gets elected as class president. I know, right? And she is confident about it. On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Oh, that makes sense. Uh. I don't know what she can say to that. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah, well. Let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Oh. Uh. I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. <clears throat> no. It's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? You can also take a look at my border entry records or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, seems like she got the wrong guy. At this rate, Navia will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious, instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. This isn't just about me, and it never has been. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth, while that same agency has long been taken from then. Poisson. <laughs> <laughs> this is deep, I know, right? Butterscotch bread. Oh, I like your name. <laughs> yeah, she is pretty. It's Navia Swift Char. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way, Butterscotch. Thanks for being here. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. The people whose families were destroyed by synth abuse. The people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh! Oh, so you do know that name. <laughs> I'm merely surprised. You'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Oh! I was waiting for you to say that. He knows Vache. What? I didn't expect that. Hi, Ron. Welcome back. And hello, Lan. Thanks, guys, for coming back. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Born to be my wife, forced to be a fictional character. <laughs> Lol. Thank God it ain't a portrait stream. What do you mean a portrait stream? Like, huh. <laughs> Are people, can people stream for in portrait mode? Hmm. <laughs> do we have a channel for Abyss in Discord? Oh no, there's no Abyss uh, channel. Why? Maybe we could add, but uh, we might need some valid reasons. <laughs> like, because we already have a lot of channels, eh? So, when adding a channel, we need to carefully think about it. So that it won't get too, uh, you know, disorganized and clumpy. So, let me know. 
What's your suggestion on why we should add an Abyss channel? Part of mini player. Oh, like TikTok. Oh, all right, TikTok. And Instagram, right? Where they call stream semen. Mm -hmm. Portrait Genshin. I wonder if there's one. 40% <laughs> of the screen. That's true. <laughs> okay, so we're. Hey, I didn't even get to collect the. Can I go out here? Yo, I didn't get the uh, Hydroculus. Was I able to get the Hydroculus? Oh. Is there anything in here? What's this? Oh, I love the background. Sheesh. Me likey. Oh, <laughs> Missed you too, Ron. So glad you're still here and you stayed. Thanks for being here and for coming back. <laughs> so we can share our abyss runs. Oh, so you mean like, is it like a text channel or a voice channel? To be banned from streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Vertically. Make threads in the Genshin Impact channel. Whoa, that's true though. That's true, you can make a thread. Separate separate thread. Click with the custom of the laundry separately. Oh, talaga? There is? <laughs> that's Chris. Is the same as I remember. Like a media channel. Ah, yeah, knows. there is a media channel. Uh, check out the Genshin Impact channel. What do you think? Abyss on a portrait mode. <laughs> Stabilize. Dogos. And a crab. What's this? Wow. Sheesh. Aloha Mora. Who come and chest? You almost missed this one. Are there any below? The only thing you can see in this place is mostly the back of the chair. <laughs> This is so cool. Wow. Robby, how is the lover? Alright, nice one, Curtis. Good job. And thanks for suggesting it. Uh, suggesting. Suggesting it. <laughs> Koi. What do I do?
Oh, ear! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! God. This is so awesome. So cool. Osmanthus wine tastes the same. At but this is still a ways away from where we need to go. Hmm. It will not say if we need to. My winning could be to face in HSR and Genshin. Just both. He's got bored. I got Navia and Obedo. Congrats! And I have Acheron. With her light cone. Nice! Congrats on getting them, Ron! Are you now able to play Genshin or HSR regularly? Because the last time I remember is like... There's only a certain time for you to play the video games. Am I right? the chests okay no more chests maybe i should heal gun oh Because right now, so I'm gonna play next week or so. Oh, nice! Okay, you know, I really admire your discipline when it comes to playing video games and studying. That's so nice. I salute you, man. Did the game even crash once? Oh, four people are still here. Oh, it's fine though. I'm only doing the quest anyway. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get more chests. Is it here? Huh. Man, this is so cool. Like how Genshin's amazing. Can I sit here? I can't sit. 
Sheesh, look at all that. It's a basement underwater. Full mechanism underwater. So amazing. Sheesh. What's underneath? Oh, looks like I'm gonna. F mm. I'm not allowed to fall, I guess. Okay. Smoother, surprising. Ooh. Gather. Nice and spicy. You're toast. Good now, where do we go? There's just one creepy statue. Oh, now that reminds me. I kind of want to go back to Enkanomiya because somehow the Enkanomiya map ordination is connected to the Hydro Archon, right? To the Hydro Nation. Then I can't wait for them to like, um. Have a new story waiting for Enkanomiya. I want them to revive Enkanomiya. That's actually my favorite map. I hope they have something for Enkanomiya soon. Enkanomiya is now dead. <laughs> it's a dead map. Oh wow. Well. Here. I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Navi as we speak. Uh, that's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia. I mean, I mean, just the, what do you call this, Enkanomiya map. I hope they will uncover more secrets for the Enkanomiya. Because it's related to... Because, you know, it's related to the Hydro Nation, right? If you guys remember. It's like the Aranara Coast. Really? <laughs> and Kanomiya is such a great map. It's a really beautiful map. a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box. There's a name, too. Oh, Paimon sees a cube, but why are all these cute no. things labeled with different girls' names? Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? Creepy. And then they were turned into water and all the boxes of things. These names. That means. Yeah, babe. So many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. Hmm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stock sample? Huh. They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Whoa! There's even fruit flavored synth? <coughs> Every group said this is fruit flavored synth. Yep, it's super obvious. The chasm. <laughs> yeah, also the chasm, lol. But I'm not sure about the chasm though. Since Enkanomiya, all I know is that Enkanomiya is related to the Hydro Nature. So it makes more sense if there's gonna be a new story that's gonna relate to Enkanomiya. Hopefully. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea. 
and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved! Aww, poor Paimon. Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just that Paimon's never read something so scary before. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. Go to researchers to save his lover, a woman called Vignere. I'm guessing that's pronounced as Vignere, who was the soul. <gasps> maybe the one who wrote, maybe the researcher is Bache. So that's why he did all of these experiments. Like, did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! Oh, okay. Oh my god, my brain finally is working. <laughs> Damn. Isn't that the name? Huh? Isn't that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. He's the research. <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? Experiments to somehow revive or, I don't know, save Vignier. I don't know, Vignier. Sign up on a bunch of experiments. What is it? Why is it hurting me? Oh, there you go. So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and. Oh. Tea kettle. <laughs> Paimon's cry was a tea kettle, lol. No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? There must be more to this than meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> yep. It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Yep. Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. Damn. Carlos is that powerful. I concur. Let's send someone <clears throat> to kill him. <gasps> he won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher ups. Your plan is well in advance. <laughs> They're all just so evil. Yeah. Good thing we're here. <laughs> Salmon pool. Oh, oh my god. god. at the moment i'm so sorry about that albedo couldn't dance <laughs> but thank you so much for subscribing infinite thanks for being here hello hello welcome to the stream and i hope you enjoy your stay huh what do you mean ron oh you and jeff there's literally seven you seven of you here and there's no matter though what do you mean i won't get my money boy <laughs> I'm 
honestly not even getting any money yet. I'm just dreaming, so no worries about that. I got jump scared. <laughs> Sorry about that. Kahit ako eh. <laughs> what a surprise. Thank you so much, Infinite. It really means a lot. And come on, Ron. Don't worry about that. I'm not really receiving any money yet. I'm not allowed to receive any money. <laughs> because I'm only at 600 subs. And that's okay. I'm just streaming for fun. No worries about that. Let's not think about money yet. <laughs> And like I said earlier, when I started the stream, Genshin is basically now my relaxation time. <laughs> Genshin is now my comfort mode, my comfort zone. <clears throat> I'm streaming to like, just enjoy the game. And that's it. <laughs> that means this is where they make all the sin. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human! Paimon will take notes on this incriminating evidence! <laughs> Go, Paimon. Do your job. We've looked at almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on! Yeah, we haven't found anything that reveals his true identity! No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything! Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. Well, Vashe is probably, probably is not a real name, right? It's probably a code name or something. Yeah, my channel hasn't been monetized in the first place. Yeah, you need at least like 1k subscribers to get monetized. So it is fine. Yeah. 1k subs plus 4k watch time, I think. Yeah. 4k watch time. <laughs> that way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Yeah, but maybe not clever enough. Let's do that. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Hopefully no one will come around anytime soon. Of course. Please. Huh? How are we? How are we gonna look for this? This pool is amazing though. Look at that. It's like floating. Where will we find this? Hmm. We will already look in here. And here. Where are we supposed to look? I don't get it. Hmm. Hmm. Should we go back? Eh, it's really there. What are we supposed to look for? Can we even go up? Oh, we can! Maybe not. Okay, I guess we can't. What are we supposed to look for then? We already checked this one. Hmm. Go eat a waffle, a popcorn, and a syrup. With zero flow. Go for it! <laughs> what are we supposed to look for? If I don't see anything, I'm gonna go search up on YouTube. This is weird. Hmm. Can we go up here? Oh, we can. Never mind, we can. I wonder what we're supposed to look for. Hmm. I'm gonna search up on YouTube. But like... Hmm. 
Okay, wait up, you guys. I now actually need some help because I can't see anything. See those sparkling items, huh? I already did, though. I already did. Oh, this one? You take that side and Paimon will take this side. Oh. Check everything carefully. We'll find something for sure. Oh, nga no. Thanks, B Dash. <laughs> It's always the snack. Oh! Whoa, oh. Really? What Paimon see? The purple book. Premier. Isn't that Fashe's lover's name? Then you found her diary! Let's see! Aww. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. Take a look at this page. She made a list of baby names. What's that? I can't understand a thing. So many! A whole page is worth! But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Oh, no. Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. Oh, has this case been going on for so long that he's Fashe and Veneer's grown son? Wow. So Marcel was just continuing the investigation. How? Oh. Hmm. Uh, hey! Damn. But we got the right person. We got the right suspect. Yay! Hello, Emo Reg! Welcome back! Thanks for coming back. Hello, hello. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Ooh, enough. Yuli Uemap. Ooh. <laughs> Ron is happy. Yay, more people. Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia, we're back! Belissa. Uh, as oh, expected of my partner, <clears throat> I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? <laughs> it's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. You say you've never heard of Vache. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair and we already know everything! After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you! You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache! Oh... So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that... Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? 
have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Mm. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. Ooh. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. Ooh. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vinyar is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. Damn. No matter what I do. What the? Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> oh my god, he's gone mad. Do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, <laughs> what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me. Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save Vignier. A promise. We made a promise. Vignier. Vinier, please, Vinier, don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. <laughs> I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> Traveler. Please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. Yeah. Hi, Kens! Welcome back! Thanks for being here! Sorry guys, I haven't been reading the comment section! I got indulged in the story. New map on the 4.6. What? Damn! My laptop is gonna burst out of the... <laughs> Amount of gig that's gonna take. Three more patches, then that one is out. Nice. <laughs> Lumine is finally talking. I know, right? Fontaine Primos went to Navia and lost 1515. Oh, and got guaranteed Shenyun. Nice. Welcome back, Miss EA. Shenyu Vale was so surprising. I hate you just because I need to farm more on it. Shenyu Vale that is playable except for Gami. Gami. Ooh, alright. But the Sanyo Chang about to net. Wait, what? Not abandoned anymore. Not all long are conquest tapos na. <laughs> Genshin Cursey for adding new maps. I know, right? It keeps expanding. <laughs> the man now known as Marcel was originally named Vache and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea. And was dissolved in front of Vache as a result. Oh, damn. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, <laughs> he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea 
can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. Mm. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Vache decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vache's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. Yeah. I feel like I just got info dump with Lore that I don't know anything about I know, right? That's two kids, what the heck? Yay. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varché is guilty. Guards! Take Varché away. Good. Yeah. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! <laughs> Good thing it wasn't the loose. Lol. Why are we playing HSR now? Ray Chase's interpretation of Nubilet is just chef's kiss. <laughs> Wait, who is Ray Chase? Which voice actor is that? Felix Wright? Oh. Hi, Chia! Or aka Froggy. Welcome back. Thanks for being here. Hello, hello. He said the thing. Or at least we can make the analyst cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of the ano, the real or the uh, video he made <laughs> of repeatedly saying the name or at least my <laughs> or at least my canic the analyst cardinal. Oh my god, your billet. Oh, that's him, lol. <laughs> huh? Are you okay? Maria. Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. A day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. <laughs> She's gonna start bawling again, yeah. The star of the show. See, Papa, Spina di Rosula is still doing well with me at the helm. Well, now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece <laughs> of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. <laughs> it's just funny how Child is just there to, like, be a supporting actor. <laughs> Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way. I've still got some business to attend to, <laughs> so if you'll excuse me. <laughs> it's just so funny because it's like they know they use child as a dog show. Oh my god! <laughs> Na pagtripan si child din na kainis. <laughs> oh funny talaga babe. <laughs> child is the comedy par part. Oh my god. Justin Bieber, now nah, it's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. <laughs> uh, what now? None of this has anything to do with you. <laughs> According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me <laughs> to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right. But this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Oh my god, dog show guy. <laughs> dog show si child. Oh my god. <clears throat> or ginger. <laughs> He's literally pulled out of nowhere and then uh, accused falsely. <laughs> Poor child. <laughs> Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the oratrice <laughs> mechanique d'analyse cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Again. Hmm. Eh? According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal, <laughs> Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. Eh? What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. <clears throat> the oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the chief justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui harbinger? <laughs> Do you think the oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? Yeah, that's true. But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Guilty by the oratrice. What's going on here? The judgment of the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal <laughs> is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. <laughs> Poor child, oh my god. So you've chosen death. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> they're always causing trouble, so the moment they're looking for a culprit, they choose you. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. The raging ginger. <laughs> Ang ganda ano nun. It's a really good catchphrase for ano, child. <laughs> what the heck? So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. in the middle of transforming and then BAM! Interrupted. Really bad. Oh my god. Hydro Dragon. Feels so sad. Poor child. 
How many times is this guy gonna get too much fight fighting questions? I know, right? Let my bay do his thing. <laughs> Lol. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. If even the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archimist. Uh, why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there either! Hey, stop staring at me! <laughs> what does Lady Farina mean by that? <clears throat> she says she has no idea either? But that's impossible! Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? Ooh, I don't know. Other people are questioning. <laughs> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Oh my god. Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. <laughs> oh my god. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance oh my God. with every action <laughs> meant to stir up drama and excitement. <sighs> yeah, she definitely is a gaslighter. Oh my God. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the soup. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond or all shall be revealed in time. You know, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time. So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? <laughs> I've never been irritated on a Genshin character in my entire life. I've never expected that I'd be irritated on a Hydro Arco. Oh my god! Is this a kid? <laughs> Help me. <laughs> mm. I don't hate her, but I am irritated at her attitude and her personality. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I can't wait for 4.2 Archon Quest since you guys are telling me that uh, she will she will be a no, much much but be much better on 4.2. Oh, official. Anna, official is still what do you call this? the English term for that. I'm just gonna load the water. I'm irritated. I I could still handle Fischl's personality and attitude. I like her character. She is fancy. But for Rina, oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that's the first time I'm skipping dialogues, especially when there are like there's like a voiceover. I usually don't skip when there's a voiceover, but damn this one! Oh my god! Uh. Okay, okay, let's continue. <clears throat> uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? <laughs> oh my god. She may have a stream a long time. Yes. 
Welcome back, Tiki! It's been a while. Thanks for coming back and for still being here. Welcome back. Hello, hello. How have you been doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll be. Red Raiden? Really? As for me, I'm more irritated with Furina. Oh my god. Oh, ayon. I found the right English word for official. Fischl's personality and um, character is still tolerable. It's tolerable for me. But for Furina, oh my god, I can't. I can't handle it. I don't like that kind of uh, character or attitude. <laughs> like, just admit that you're wrong. Jock. Jock na. <laughs> hmm. She probably just put on that performance to See? save face. Yeah, exactly. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. <laughs> However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. Tito Pixie, grabe na yan. Tito na pala si Pixie. Welcome back again, Curtis. The princess and Sophia is less annoying than the blueberries. Yep. Special is more tolerable for me. <laughs> Nahida deserves the most apology out of the Archon's face. I'm sorry. Not true though. Nahida is like the most perfect Archon. <laughs> exactly, Jeff. This brat. <laughs> Got busy dealing with BIR. Oh, wow. Business stuff. Nice. Thanks for stopping by, Pixie. Nagabi naman yung tito. Why only now we be thing with Farina? Actually, I, I didn't like Farina ever since the beginning. No, the beginning was still... Her first appearance on the Archon Quest was still entertaining. But then, ever since the... Uh, ever since they uh, presented how the Oracle... Uh, Oracle? Oratrice! Mm, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say the whole thing. The Oratrice on how it works. That's the time that I started to get irritated at her attitude. Ooh, be good. <laughs> I can't handle it. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? <laughs> Poor child. Not in this way, though. <laughs> Monsieur Nervalet, that power you showed when you took him down. Who are you really? He is an author. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. Hmm. Purina spoiler, na don't know. I want to do the 4.2 Archon Quest already, so I won't be irritated on Farina anymore. <laughs> Since you guys keep saying that she'll come back around. Yeah. How do we get up there? Do we even have enough Emo Gems to pull? We have. Let's go, let's go try pulling for Nidhi. On that chair. <laughs> Since we already lost 50 50. Miko suggested that we go up there as like a form of uh, ritual. Kazuha and. Uh... Hmm, how do we get up there? Kazuha and. I don't know. Geo Traveler. Can we climb up here? We also can. Okay, let's first turn traveler to a geo guy. Yup, Nahida is the all around Archon, the best Archon. <clears throat> An author. 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 <laughs> Hmm. 
Corita has autism? <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Is she really even the Hydro Archon? Maybe it's Nubilet. Is Nubilet the real Ar Hydro Archon? Where is Chapter? This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Maybe we could also use Venti. <clears throat> Hmm, what else can we use? Hmm, okay. Hey. Let's go resonate the geo. What do you mean I don't know anything? Well, that's true though. Is how is author related to authors? What authors? 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 Author? 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 There's like a th on the H. Author. Author. Authors. 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 Author. No, but yeah. Is Nahida is a mom and a child's body, I know, right? She's been through a lot. Hmm. Where, wait, where do we go then? Where is that again? Go to newbies. Let's go to new Villette's, um... Uh, is this the right place? Where is that again? Oh, it's here! Lol. <clears throat> Is it? Author, 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 author. Oh, there we go. I guess that's the right pronunciation for author. Author, author. That's the writer, author. But like, if it's the animal, author, author, author. <laughs> they all not. <laughs> Spoiler, Barbara is the Hydro Archon. I could agree with that. <laughs> Maybe she really is the Hydro Archon. So A is a child in a mom's butt. <laughs> A is a child in a mother's body. Oh my god. But like that. Oh, come on. We're supposed to go to the. Oh come on! Supposed to go to the sea. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Hmm. Traveler, hey, traveler! Oh, there we go. We could bring the good news to him. Ah, Marcel, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Paimon is so disgusted. Stop resisting arrest. Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list. No, 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 wait. I, I just want to ask the traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. I met her. Uh, really? Y y you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? It was around the fountain of Lucene. Something to do with, sen with my sensitivity to the hydro element. The fountain of Lucene? Then, then she's been so close to me all along. And I just never... Please... Please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the traveler take me to the fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. <clears throat> you can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Hmm. Paimon agrees. This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course. Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that- I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. <sighs> in that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. 
Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> I need your wonder doesn't have anything under there. <laughs> what the? Bruh. Oh my god. Dato, kumihit. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I don't worry, but I treat my friends like children really because they have a role play family. Aw, mano po mama. Star shoes. <laughs> Chia is irritated na on Marcel. <laughs> Man, I just wanted to pull on Nuvilat's um, seat. Come on, let me just try. <clears throat> like, I mean, it's much better if we go upstairs. Can we even? Let's dust it up. Oh, we can. Nice. Can't use zombies, right? So cute. You can go here. <clears throat> oh, how do we get there? Rise. <sighs> now we are being judged in here. Do we, how do we go there? Hmm. We need the higher. Mm, yeah, we need to go there. <coughs> eh? Oh, we can't. Hmm. Maybe here? Oh, we can. Is this high enough? No, it's not. We need to add one more. Maybe. Oh no. <gasps> no! No 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 Come on. No! Oh, come on. Nice. Just one more. Let's play. Come on, come on, come on. I should have used Kazuha. Oh, there we go! Oh, we got it! Got it! Let's go! Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go use the Geo version of Newbie. Congrats on getting Kazuha! Eco Reg! Nice! What are we talking about here? Oh, yeah, my Chi American. Samaria is Polish? What, what are we? What are we talking about here? <clears throat> is America America or Asia? Asia, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she American, time what the heck? Yeah, I'm on Asia server. Asia server, Ron. <laughs> Alright, noted, Ron. I'm Australian, what the heck? <laughs> Hi, Mommy Yuki! Thanks for being here! Welcome back! Chair, yeah! I <laughs> no, guys, I'm actually half Spanish. Half, um, yeah, half Polish. And then one third, um, New Zealander. What the Wait, what do you call it? A New Zealander? Ayoko Wala na. Wait, what's my PP? I am also half, um, half pretty, half bish, Shut up. 
Ya aku tanya. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Twenty. We are now at twenty. This is nah. We're far from the uh, <clears throat> hard pity. But let's just see. Twenty one. Can we buy? Oh, we oh, never mind. Let's try by buying two. There we go, we can have 10 wishes. We're now on 31. Oh man. Yep. What? The rust? And oh well, we tried. No more primo gems for now. I am now broke, but at least we ha uh, we have the chance to get up here. This is so nice. This is the right one. Right? Where is Farina's... Hmm. Where's Farina's chair though? Is it there? No. Where's Farina's chair? Is it much higher? Hmm. Forbidden Jutsu. <laughs> More pinos. Nah. I am broke. Playing Val, I'm not sure. We might play Mobile Legends again since the tournament Both is near Mom Wow! Biglang nag Spanish, oh. Hola, Sumeria! <laughs> yeah, New Zealander. I don't know what to call that. Oh my god, naging Chinese na. <laughs> Como estas? Oh well, I guess that is all for today. Yeah, it's already 6 p.m. But grab you on. But I oh wait, never mind. I wanna see if Marcel is going to be able to um meet Vinier. What? What is this? Charlotte. Oh man. Oh man. Not again. Not the prerequisite quests. Okay, I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> For now. Yeah, it's cool. I need to rest now. Because later on, I'm gonna have to play Mobile Legends with my friends naman for the tournament. Ah, oh well. Let's go do the shout out. <laughs> now I'm not gonna stream up to 7. The, my limit is really up to 6 pm. We are over time for like 35 minutes. Can we do Enkanamiya? Yeah, sure. But I'll definitely continue tomorrow. Yeah? Because I now have to rest up a bit before I go on to my next task at home. So yeah. Hola, soy Dora. Can you tell where can you tell who the real Hydro Archon is? Enka Network? What's Enka Network? Yeah, CC is cool on ML. He, she is annoying to be an enemy. Oh my God, I always ban CC on ML. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, I got commissions at home too. <laughs> yeah, I've got tons of commissions at home. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, for the shout outs, thank you to P Dash, Miko, Jeff, Poi, Halal, Mi Poco. Nom, Curtis, Butterscotch, Ron, Land, Infinite, Imoreg, Kez, Chia, Pixie, and Mommy Yuki. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any names. If I did, please let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you guys so much! It's really fun chatting with you guys and, you know, I'm finally catching up with the Archon Quest. And I am... You know, actually, you guys are part of my relaxation time. So thank you guys for being here. 
my day this morning and the afternoon was a bit stressful for me so i'm really glad i streamed today so anyway yeah yeah koi was here <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow uh, she'll visit again hopefully <laughs> Thank you guys as well for stopping by and for visiting and for staying as well. Thank you, thank you all so much. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great night, afternoon, or morning. And please take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck, guys.